Hello and welcome to Simple Science. This is the show that shows you science with a computer simulation. Today I will be showing you the reactions of sodium in three different ways. The first way is sodium's reaction with water. Its second way is with its reaction in a vacuum. And the third way is its reaction with oxygen. So, let's begin on simple science today. So the first experiment we're going to do is on the left here. I'm going to put my sodium in here. Show you the contents. At the moment, there's just your normal atmospheric gases, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide. Then you've got solids, 5.94 grams of sodium. Now we're going to turn the heat up on the Bunsen burner. And it has turned in to a mixture of, well, predominantly sodium oxide and no, uh, 0.64 grams of sodium peroxide. Now, there isn't as much oxygen as before because the sodium has started using it. But as the atmospheric gases come back in, you can see that the oxygen levels are being restored. So that's what happens when you react sodium with the air, or the oxygen in the air. Now, I'll be doing the same thing, but I will be making this area, we're now focusing on flask number two over here, a vacuum. There's nothing in there. No air, no gases, no nothing. So, I've put my sodium in. 25 Celsius. I'm going to raise the temperature. See what happens. You can see that the sodium has started turning into a liquid. Well, it has turned into a liquid. And it's done that because um, it had no oxygen to react with or anything else. So when you heated it up, instead of reacting with the oxygen in the air and turning into sodium oxide, it became a liquid because it had nothing to react with and it just changed its state. Will probably turn back to a solid soon once it gets past its melting point. Okay, now on to flask three. With this one, I'm not going to have any Bunsen burners or anything. I'm just going to react it with water. Our normal atmosphere in there, sodium being put in, our solid is there. Now, water. You can see it's starting to bubble. And then that's quite a big explosion it's created. And that's because it's one of the alkali metals on the periodic table. And they all react quite violently with water. And they are in group one. And sodium is only... is in fact the second weakest of those metals and so yeah it's turned into sodium hydroxide with water being made up of two hydrogens and one oxygen you've got a hydro from the hydrogen and oxide from the oxygen so that is how that happens and those are three sodium reactions for today